Your whole life is happening between these three dimensions – memory, present experience and imagination. This is your life, isn't it? These are three dimensions. We call them trikala, three dimensions of time. All your experience of life is happening here, but if you lose distinction between what is past, what is present, what is future, then everything hurts. But not everybody terrible things have happened. Unfortunately for a few people, it, they have happened. But the rest of the people are simply suffering something, isn't it? Because it's fashionable to suffer. People think if they're suffering, they are very intellectual, they are very profound. No, it's just stupid because you're suffering something that doesn't exist. You are not suffering what's happening right now. You are suffering what happened yesterday and you are suffering something that may happen tomorrow already. So, this madness has been encouraged simply because we never train people how to use their faculties. It is time uh, <laughs> we choose uh, quality over quantity in our lives in every sense. Today, the world is moving towards uh, more or big. No, we should move towards better, finer things in life, which uh, takes time to do. If you want to weave this basket, It'll take time, but you can produce a lid like this in plastic, uh, a million per day probably. So, one way of enhancing quality and reducing quantity is that human beings by choice should go for finer things, not for more. If everybody chooses something handmade in their life, at least a part of it, even five, ten percent of everything that you use, if it's handmade, you will be making a great contribution in saving and sustaining the planet. Success and failure is not about one, one or two events that happen in your life. It is just that no matter what life threw at you, you knew what to do out of it. What life throws is not always our choice. What we make out of it is one hundred percent our choice. If you're exercising this choice always, you are a successful human being because then you will know how to be. This is important, this is a very important aspect of yogic process is that we go on working on our attention, that we keep on keying up our attention to a higher and higher level, a higher and higher voltage and intensity. Now we don't encourage focus because focus means consolidate all that attention and put it on one person. Suppose you invested your entire focus on one spot and you found nothing worthwhile in that spot, what will you do at the end of your life? This is what is happening to most lives. Now, you just work on making your attention itself so keen that even if somebody focuses on something, they won't be that keen. If your attention is that keen, you won't miss a thing in this universe. Now, when you don't miss a thing, Everybody thinks you're some kind of a superhuman being. No, 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 this is not about being superhuman. This is about realizing being human itself is super.